Some of you are familiar maybe with that, uh, that Dr. Hugh Len uh, from in Hawaii. It's called Ho Oponopono. And basically, it's the same teaching. It's like empty your mind of everything that you think about anyone. He literally was was hired to go to to a ward, an institute for the criminally insane. And he went there, and there's so much turnover with these directors at this this institute for the criminally insane in Hawaii. And when he went there, he just he just had this feeling that, that he was there to forgive. And so he started looking through the charts and the papers of all of the clients that are supposed to be under him and forgiving everything that he saw on the charts. <laughs> Did he do intake interviews? No. He didn't even talk to these people. Now how's that for a psychotherapist? Not even talking to the client. That would be like, oh. He simply took their, their files and he forgave. He said, everything in these files must be what my consciousness is showing me. That's why I've got these files in front of me. And all these files contain are a bunch of judgments. And I need to free my mind and release everything in every one of these files. And he didn't even interview the people. He would see them in the halls. And, and he didn't even call him into his office and didn't even chat with him. He simply did it all and he cleared the entire ward. They had to shut down the entire institution. And he not only didn't, he didn't last as the, as the director because they had to shut the institution down. He lost his job. He forgave himself out of a job. <laughs> because he, he saw that everything that was in these folders about these so-called criminally insane people, clients, was, were just simply judgments. So that's really how powerful the mind is, you know. <laughs> and, you know, with uh, Lila receiving this guidance here to quit your job, you know, she just told me at lunch, she said that she had the typical things, like she's renting an apartment, like, oh yeah, and where is the rent going to come from? You know, immediately the ego went to work, in almost like a very logical way, you know, starting to make a case. The initial reaction was no, <laughs> and then the ego immediately started to build a case to support the no. And then uh, her partner Nicholas had, had been feeling the same thing, like, oh, it's time for you to move on. He, he hadn't spoken it, but then they're starting to get more and more guidance. You don't just get the guidance, quit your job, and then you're just left there with no more instructions, you know. That's, that's just like one instruction, and then the next instruction comes, and then the next, and the next. And it's like, you have to be led, you know, to this place of, perfect oneness and forgiveness, so, so the instructions come. But it's really great just to be able to, to watch your reactions sometimes to these things that come in. I have to say, I mean, I think back to some of the things I was guided to do and, and certainly I, I resisted and had reactions. I mentioned, I think, yesterday, I believe it was, when I was guided to transfer from one uh, university program to another, that I, I literally resisted the guidance over and over and over until I started making myself sick and I could, could see that I was just fighting myself and then I stopped. Then there was such a sense of relief when I finally just went, okay, okay, all right. <laughs> and then, you know, that's the way it goes for us. It, we, when we resist it, it's a struggle when we just yield into it. It's, it's very sweet.